everyone, welcome to the seventh Multiple Sundays video. Today I would like to talk about vision disorders. Um, and I found out that, oh no, beforehand, I would like to say that I'm neither a nurse nor a doctor. I'm neither a nurse nor a doctor and um, I don't have training or education in the medical field um, so please if you are looking for medical advice um, go to the hospital or the doctor and ask there um, for more information but what I've found out is that around 90% of all patients um, experience experience yeah experience <laughs> vision disorders throughout uh, the process of the disease and interestingly um, for 40% of the patients it's one of the first symptoms same as in my case and mostly just one eye is affected um, for me, it's my right eye. Like since a year, I also some, 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 sometimes have um, vision disorders in my left one. But it only happened when my symptoms got super worse, or if I am having a lot of stress, um, loads of stress. But mostly, it's in the right eye. And for me. It feels like I would look through dirty glasses, um, so mostly I check my glasses first if they are dirty, like, oh my god, is it just the glasses? Okay, good, fine. Yeah, when mostly it's not the glasses. Um, and I, it's not long term, I have, when it happens, I have a blurred vision for like three seconds, because then immediately I blink. And mostly it's gone then after I blinked. Um, sometimes I have to blink a few times, but mostly it's gone after one time. Yeah, this was one of my first symptoms. Um, just shortly before I got diagnosed, it started with a headache. Um, I talked about headaches last week, so check the video out. Um, in that area, which is like poof, 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 I don't know the word for it. Um, so I think it affected each other maybe or it was an inflammation happening in this area um, so that's why this area was affected um, yeah I mostly have this kind of headache here and as I said also the vision disorder and I made like a vision test back then and it showed that like the information um, needs more time um, to go into my brain. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I never prepare the English one. <laughs> needs more, so the information um, need more time to process on this side or to get it transmitted on this side. Do you have vision disorders? And if you have vision disorders, like how do they affect you? And do you have it then for like minutes or also just seconds or days maybe? I would be super happy if you want to share your story with me. And I hope you liked my video, even though it was pretty, yeah. See, exactly like this. But today I'm so tired. I have sleeping disorders again. I can't fall asleep before five in the morning and I'm just so tired and then when I'm tired of course um, I have blackouts and I can't remember words. For example affected. I know what affected is in English. I know it but I had to google it because I just for forgot it. Um, yeah. More and more and more symptoms. <laughs> more and more symptoms I will make videos about but not today now I'm tired um, yeah a little teaser maybe the next time I want to talk about numbness 
feelings like um, when my hands are numb or my legs so if you're interested I would be super happy if you watch that video as well and now I'm yeah wishing you a lovely day see you next time